I'm Nikki Hayes. I'll soon be 72 years old. I graduated from high school in 1958, so I had a pretty good math background, I think. I learned a lot of traditional math. I learned I had to do a lot of math in my head because we didn't have calculators back then. Well, in, the in 1957, we had Sputnik, and our American politicians went nuts saying that it was all the school's fault that the Russians got to put their space satellite up there before we got ours, and so they brought in a whole new idea of teaching math in the 1960s. It was called the new math. It was stupid. It was not worth anything. It was all theoretical. It wasn't about basic skills anymore. We've got to be creative, got to be geniuses, forgetting that basic skills are the foundation for creating critical thinking. So in the 70s, we started realizing, whoops, uh, we got kids coming to college who need remedial math. But nothing really changed. And then in the 1980s, we had a group called the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics who said, oh, we're going to fix it so girls and minorities are equal with boys in math because girls and minorities don't, look, don't learn like white males and Asians do. So they created a whole new system where we're going to teach a lot of fuzzy good feelings, project-based learning, no memorizing of the multiplication table, give them calculators because we want them to do creative thinking, which is what they were doing in the 60s. Didn't work then, didn't work in the 80s. But in the 90s, we had $89 million pumped by the government into those programs. They spread like wildfire throughout the United States. So by, the by 2000, we had children who were even more in need of remedial math education. And today, we have 50% of American students who can't do mental math without a calculator. Have you found a kid who can't count change to you in a store? because you can't do it without using a calculator to figure out how much change to give you. This is sad. John Saxon warned them in 1981 when they were doing all this and he was writing his new algebra book that they were going to create a mess, not only for our students, but for the country. Guess what? He was right. I have written his biography because John was ridiculed mightily by all those in power saying that he didn't know what he was talking about. Well, the biography will show you John Saxon's story, A Genius of Common Sense in Math Education, was a true story of John's warnings, and it also tells what research has shown that he was right. So go to my website, saxonmathwarrior.com, and order my book, because I want you to see why we're in the shape we're in and how we can get out of it, because John had the answers too.